Hey, Lillian, we're in Rogers right now on Walnut, um, the street that looks unrecognizable right now. It's 9 a.m. on a sun Sunday morning, and we're in the middle of Walnut. And just take a look at it. This just doesn't look, um, it doesn't look real almost. It definitely doesn't look like it did when people went to bed last night. Um, and more people are starting to come out and see this damage. You can see multiple buildings on the intersection of 24th and Walnut just completely destroyed, completely leveled a thrift store that's been there for 13 years. Um, we talked with the owners this morning um, who were just devastated, completely leveled, everything gone. Uh, you can see another house there with damage, the down power lines. Look at that, half the power line just down on the ground. Really dangerous conditions here, so police do have Walnut closed off. And I'm gonna turn around real quick and show just a couple businesses here. The sports clips right there, the storefront is completely gone, a clothing store, the storefront completely gone. Some of the Dollar Tree is really damaged. Um, so it just kind of looks like whatever hit here just kind of swooped right through here, right along Walnut. Um, but police are actively working on kind of working on this traffic. Look at the traffic down here. Um, people are having to go around this area to get through, causing a lot of confusion this morning. But um, police are working to make sure everything runs smoothly. And we do have a crew over in Decatur. I believe Katani Gooch is live for us now. Uh, Katani, what's the damage like over there? What are you seeing over in uh, West Benton County? That's right, Jacob. We are out here in Decatur. This is Carlton Drive right here, this road behind me. And as you can see, many emergency vehicles have been driving by, roads have been driving by, but you can also see that there is a downed power line right here. You can even see um, the power unit, I guess, that's at the top of the power line right there. It is on the side of the road. When me and 4029's LaKyra Banks arrived here, that was actually in the middle of the road, um, but it has been moved over since then. There's some machinery here that's been helping clear out some trees because even further down Carlton Drive, there are trees everywhere, making the road almost impassable there, um, covering half of the lanes there in and out. But as we you know, head back down after this, we may see that it is cleared up a little bit. And as we continue to walk down, that's not even half of the damage that we're seeing. It's not even a quarter of it. As you can see right now, this house right here, is completely destroyed. You can see even right here that I think this may have been the kitchen right now where you see this this uh, refrigerator that's right here. Um, you see kind of a bed frame. I think that's what that is right there. So a bedroom is right there. And then even further back, you see that the back of the house is completely demolished. It's not even there anymore. Um, earlier in the, um, earlier shows, me and LaKyra Banks were on the other side of the house where we saw two campers that were completely destroyed as well as many uprooted trees. But we wanted to get on this side of the house to show you just the extent of the damage that that storm caused that came through this morning. Now, you can look at this and it's almost unbelievable what you're seeing, but we're hearing that the family that lived in this house that was in this house during the storm walked away untouched. Everyone is accounted for and safe this morning. Um, thank God. And but there is one cat that they are missing their own the, their family pet that they're missing, but everyone else is safe. And even as you look behind me some more, there are trees that are completely destroyed. The family that was living here told me that Earlier, yesterday, a week ago, you could not see anything past these trees, but now it is completely cleared out. The landscape has been completely cleared due to the destruction of the storms last night. And right now, as I said, crews are coming in to help clear the roads um, and to clear some of this debris that's here. The family told me they're looking at next steps of where to stay. But for right now, I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Katana Gooch, 40, 29 News. All right, let's take a live look right now at North 26th Street in Rogers. We saw from Jacob earlier that Walnut is closed, and I think there's also damage at North 26th Street right here. 4029's Valerie Zhang's out there for us. If we could just zoom out uh, so we can kind of see a little bit more of what's happening here, um, put potentially some trees down, I think limbs down in the area causing uh, damage uh, that's that's caused some damage there. Um, okay, but, but we can go ahead and I think maybe come back to us here. There we go. Uh, a tree's uprooted. We've we've got a lot of photos from Rogers and the east side of the the city and into the downtown area where we've had damage. We'll go ahead and get an update on your weather forecast. We'll bring back Lily and Match. So taking a look out there right now, luckily we are getting a break in that weather temperatures already into the low 80s across northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. And you'll definitely also notice that humidity when you step outside. It's going to be warm and humid as we head into the afternoon. Luckily, again, having that bit of a break in weather, not, not, not too much going on on the radar, maybe just some sprinkles towards Polk County. But especially if you're heading up, maybe you have some travel plans. This swath of severe weather is 
is continuing to move to the north and to the east and absolutely you'll need to stay weather aware no matter where you are if you're at home or if you are traveling this Memorial Day weekend. And we do have a severe day today well, even though it is going to um, be warm and humid with nothing on that radar until later afternoon and evening. We definitely want to just let you know that there is a small chance that any developing storms that come in along our next cold front this afternoon and evening could produce some wind and hail. So again we have that severe day today as we head into next week though luckily you know we aren't expecting any severe days or any impact days for your Memorial Day highs only in the low 80s and then we're back into the upper 70s for Northwest Arkansas next week. Similar story for the River Valley we've got that severe threat for today that wind and hail threat and then as we head into next week we'll be a little bit cooler but still expecting some overnight showers and storms but should not be severe Allison. All right, let's recap what we know right now. Likely there were tornadoes that hit Rogers and Decatur. There's widespread damage all across Benton County. There are thousands of power outages, I think up to about 70,000 people without power. The county judge said at a news conference today that one person has died and injuries have been reported. Right now we're just showing you what we're seeing. We'll have the latest for you online on 4029tv.com and we'll be doing cut-ins throughout the morning.